If it travelers, you know, being a woman, it takes us an hour and a half, maybe more, to prep up ourselves <laughs> during our skincare. Don't worry, my partner has its own skincare. Our three second skincare, and it's good to go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's beauty routine. It only takes three seconds. Sometimes I, I say, why well, life is so unfair for a woman? It takes us like an hour or so just to prep up ourselves. It's, I just wish we could just do magic. <laughs> Just like Cinderella, right? I see lots of female Koreans doing this, curling their bangs like this. Wow, it's so hazy outside. Fluffy white coat. Koreans think I slaughtered a polar bear. And my fiancé, I think he slaughtered a worm. Look at the coat, color of his coat. A duo, polar bear and a worm. Who do you think will win? <laughs> a worm versus a polar bear. <laughs> Fluffy travelers, we're going to the Daiso today. Shopping spree in Daiso. He pressed this button. So we're waiting for the police to come. <laughs> he pressed it. He is the culprit. <laughs> Just coffee. <laughs> coffee with shit. <laughs> That's a problem here. Uh, be it they have same numbers. Same numbers go on a different route. This is uh, connects two different islands. This connects the airport. Yeah. To the mainland. Of South. Yeah. In China. Mm -hmm. Right. So the, you know, we're on an island. This the mainland of Inchon, which is also connected to Seoul and the rest of Korea. This connects. Mm -hmm. so there's two ways. One is you can take a bus going the same as the airport railroad, or you can take this one as a shortcut to Incheon. We are on a bridge. All buses here, they have fire extinguishers. We got a healthy breakfast here in Paris Baguette. That's the memorial hall for ancient landing operation. <sighs> this commemorates the crucial part of history of Korean War. It has a beautiful facade. The architecture is so phenomenal. It's an interesting place to visit here when you are around Incheon. This museum is free of entrance. That's a beautiful word, free. See those flags? Those are the countries that participated during the Korean War. And I saw my flag! Philippines right there, Philippine flag. This is right? the airport. Okay. But remember these were the two islands that mm -hmm. before the 1990 or something? This was shallow area and they filled it all in to make this one whole island. It's amazing. Just to make another island. We're going to the temple next and we see these beautiful houses here. They have a nice setting of their gardens. That's Gyeong Yusa Temple and it's a 15 minute walk going here from the museum, uh, the road is steep and a good thing is the weather is good so even if, if you walk it's conducive, the air is cold. I don't think you could do that in summer. <laughs> We are on IFSG Tower in Chun. So it has a 33 floors. The overlooking of the 360 view, overlooking of the Incheon city. For just a 33rd floor, you can already see the view T and the whole Incheon city. 
Coffee Travelers. Uh, we just went to Cotsbrook. Camera is not allowed inside. If you want to buy skincare, it's cheaper there. It's like set. You buy them around like for 20k won, 15k won. It's already set. In Costco, you need the memberships. If you're just a tourist here, I don't think it's practical. But if you live here for longer time, buying skincare in Costco is much better. And it's cheaper here. A little bit costly in Costco here than in Costco in America. That's what my fiancé told me. There's a nice park here. It's family stomping ground. They have a coast guard that's cute. That's one. A nice Sango Central Park. A nice for family getaway here in Incheon. So this is just a one floor Daiso. Unlike in Yongdong, it's larger. It has 10 floors. So good so far. We're leaving now. We're done uh, purchasing all the needs, the staples in Daiso. So it, it cost us 104k won, huh? 104,000k won, <laughs> and we're ready to go back home. <laughs> Hello, Gifty Travelers. So today is. Um, Wednesday and this past few days maybe I didn't record for two days in a row because we're just doing the same thing and eating at home so no expenses out so today we decided to eat uh, sea seafood like uh, clams and it cost us 42k one and because my fiance knows that I like seafood and, Filip and seafood in the Philippines is really expensive and here it's cheaper like you can have it all anytime you want so for 42k one you will get unlimited rice and unlimited watch and all as usual so that's my, my favorite again in Korea, South Korea that they always have a free bonchan always. Another thing that is interesting fact about you know re restaurants in Korea, they are very efficient. They serve food so fast. You know one of the best thing in Korea, South Korea, they have the best kimchi ever. This one is so good. It's so crunchy. Oh my god, it's so tasteful. Look how big the clams are. It's giant. It's boiling now. Man, the seafood is the best. It's so tasteful. Uh, I'm glad I tried this. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> it's not clean. <laughs> An eyeball. They have different sizes of clams. They have big, bigger clams. They, they have mussels. Like, they're smaller clams. And they are really, really tasteful. So that's the restaurant. So 97 degrees and blah, 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 blah. It's delicious. It's truly recommended. What can you say about the food that we eat? You see, the clams that we've eaten. Uh, you ate 90% and I ate 10%. <laughs> <laughs> but how can you rate it? It's good for you too, sir? It's delicious. And I'm not a seafood eater, but I thought it was very good. Mm. Hello, fit travelers. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. And today, my plan is to go to Seoul City Wall. I heard that this is one of the famous uh, places to visit in Seoul. So let's go and check out the Seoul City Wall in Seoul. Remember, I'm coming from Incheon. This is close to the airport, like 10 minutes away. So remember, my form of transportation is based on my departure location. And we're going to take buses and trains. Let's go. I loaded my T-Money card because I have to make sure while on, while on the fly, I have a right amount of <laughs> load. So you can always reload your T-Money card on any convenience stores, GS25 or 7-Eleven. They only accept cash, not credit cards or debit cards. So make sure you secure cash with you all the time. In order to travel around South Korea, they have a famous search engine here called the Neighbor App. That's what the search engine that we often use when we're traveling. Sometimes when, if I really feel that I'm dubious with the locations and it doesn't show a neighbor map, sometimes I use Google Map. But right now, 
I tried to use Libra map and Libra is much complicated going to soul healing walls. So I tried to use Google map and Google map gave me a simple uh, route going there. So maybe going back, I might use the neighbor map. Let's enter the gate. Okay, 1051. Bus is 1501. So soul station. Okay, there. If you're a solo traveler, traveling in South Korea is a breeze. You don't have to panic. I love trains here, they are so fast. Just remember, don't be afraid to travel alone once in a while because it teaches you courage and confidence. You will thank yourself. I alighted at the Seoul station. It took me 50 minutes from Yongjong station to this station. And I have to find the line number 4. And there it is, exit number 14. So signages here are very obvious. It's easier. Sometimes there's a little bit panic, but still, confidence is the key. This will be our last train transfer. And we're almost there to Seoul City Wall. Okay, trick me. I almost go to exit number 2. So exit number 1, Seoul City Wall Museum. Perfect. Ah. Okay, 2001. I'm walking 30 minutes heading for a Seoul City Wall. So I hope this effort of traveling from Incheon to this place won't disappoint me. It's a spring season and sunflowers are starting to bloom. They will be in full bloom according to the weather forecast. Second week of April. And along this path, I see some cherry blossoms blooming now, which excites me. Look at that. That's so gorgeous. So yellow. Okay, Naksan Park. So that one, those are the parapet or the bulwark of the Hanyang city wall. Hanyang is the former uh, name of Seoul during the Joseon dynasty. It's been standing for centuries now. Right now, I'm standing on the platform and you can see the view of the Seoul city and the mountains right behind it. Okay. I'm not sure if this would be a nice spot for taking pictures because you all, all you see are the buildings behind you. I'm just curious what's on the other side of this uh, small window. Okay, Siri. <laughs> Siri, let's take a pic. It says here. Now climbing on the wall, but I see some Koreans. They're still trying to climb. So, may mga pasaway din pala. This wall is just runs along the path going down there. So, I don't know how long this wall could, could take. So I thought this was just a boring wall, but there's so many uh, observ observation decks and some uh, areas where kids can play. It's a good place to take a look at and just relax here. I'm just curious about this Iwa mural village. Yeah, there's some murals on the wall. Just right close to Namsan Park. Okay, these are the murals. <gasps> there's also a gallery but it's closed today. There's so many coffee shops around and it looks so static and so cute. It's very innovative. I'm in a nice restaurant. The, ha the owner of this restaurant, cafe, is a cat lover. There's so many cats around. <laughs> Hello there! Hi, want some food? I'm gonna look, walk along this uh, city wall, going towards there. So alongside of the road, the other side, there's so many cafes. So you won't get, go hungry here. This is the city wall. So walking along the side of city wall, you will see the Dong, the Imun, and Chu Gate over there. So that's the Dong, the Imun Gate. So if you put that in your Google Map, it will lead you directly here at the starting point of the Seoul city wall. Train is coming and listen again to the musical sound. <laughs> Hola, hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday morning and the spring is on the air. And today I'm so 
we all that we're going to see cherry blossoms in you though. And that's our hotel. And there's a like a 10 minute walking distance going to the bus station. So it will take us two hours to go to Seoul City because we are here in Incheon close to airport. You see our jacket is just a summer jacket. Ha! Now open for the first time. Bus will arrive at three minutes. Waiting for the bus. It will arrive at five minutes. Oh, it's four minutes now. Two or three bus. Two or three, right? We're at the bus and I'm seeing trees are blossoming now. It's beautiful in the eyes. This is the Yongjong Station. A bus costs 1500 as usual. From Yongjong Station, we're going to Gimpo Station. 1050 one. One of the famous places here to visit during the spring and it's uh, for cherry blossoms is this Seokchon Lake. In the green train icon, it's getting closer to our station. We're still on a train from Gimpo, we transfer to Express uh, train. And after almost an hour, we are now here in Sokchon Station. And you know what is funny? While we were on a train, I saw this couple. The lady, she's putting on a like mild lipstick on his guy, which is so cute. Here are the difference in Japan and South Korea. In Japan, any train or bus station, you have to fall in line. It's a must. Here, you don't have to, so you can just cut off the line anytime. And we are here at the um, subway. I like it because it's healthy. And before we proceed to suction lake, we need to fill our stomach in. Oh my god, I can see so many cherry blossoms right over there. It's so pretty! This whole suction lake. And it's surrounded by these beautiful cherry blossom trees. It's booming, oh my god. The explosion of colors. It's raining cherry blossoms. My God, the explosion of colors of the trees, of the cherry blossoms surrounding the beautiful lake, Sokchan. There are spots that you could take pictures without photo murmurs. <laughs> beautiful. For Filipino life, you've never seen a spring. This is so exciting. If you can go to Nami Island, I recommend you this Sokchan Lake to see the wonderful spring explosion of the cherry blossoms. It's pretty gorgeous. God, beautiful. Oh my God. The lake is crystal clear. Yeah. Till color? Is that till color? Yeah, it's man-made. Ma okay, just a man-made uh, lake. This is the West Sokchun Lake. There is an east side, so it's just like a number eight figure. This is a dream come true, so one of my bucket list check off and seeing cherry blossoms, one of the best cherry blossoms in the whole world in South Korea. This one look, looks a little bit pink here. We are on an East uh, Sokchon Lake now from the West Lake. And there's a Lotte World theme park over here. And in Korean, they said, they said, 
sarong hair and then we kiss. Ah. This Sokchun Lake Park is such an amazing place to visit for cherry blossoms. And now we're heading to Yuwido, another place to check it out. And we're heading to Hangang Park now, enjoying the cherry blossoms. So this is close to National Assembly Station, second destination for the cherry blossom. And there's so many tourists. So we're going to Hangang Park. They have a huge Yuwido full gospel church here. There's so many Christians here. Wow, it's more decorative than the previous one, the Sunshine Lake. Nice. Oh, my God. In Hangang Park, the difference from the Sunshine Lake, the trees here are lower and then the cherry blossoms, they overlap each other. It's more uh, Instagrammable when it comes to pictures. There's a photo spot right there, so we have to fall in line. Hangang Park is endless. It's a slew of cherry blossom trees here. And it's more lively here. They have programs. So just so you know, the park is free. There's no entrance fee, so you can just enjoy taking pictures anytime you want. We're hunting restaurant for tonight. from South Korea free travelers. Yesterday, we received the most beautiful cherry blossoms of all time. And today, there's azaleas or azaleas. So we were trying to check it out. I hope it's still blooming because I heard that it's blooming first before the cherry blossoms and I'm excited to see it. Oh my God, this is very deep. <laughs> there's another escalator going down. This is the third escalator. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Time to reload again our T money card. Oh, coming up from this escalator, it surprises us with these beautiful cherry blossoms. Luchon Stadium, so close to Luchon Stadium, you will see a wonderful blooming uh, azaleas blooming. It's color like violet, and I can see it right from here. Okay, just right in front of the stadium, there's a lot of food trucks here. Mmm! Tastes like pomelo. We're close to the Azalea Garden. The Azalea Garden, it looks so beautiful, oh my god. It looks like a cotton candy in color violet. Where are you, baby? I'm here in Azalea Garden. Now the garden Did you say Azalea? Yeah, Azalea. <laughs> Azalea Garden. Just think, I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy. <laughs> you ready now? So this is called Wangwisan Mountain. They celebrate Azalea Festival here as well. It's a must, must, must visit place to enjoy the explosion of the Azalea flowers. It's so beautiful. The colors just terrific. Here you feel like you are walking in, a, in, a, in a heaven's garden. And the weather is perfectly great. I don't have, we don't have to wear jackets anymore. Spring is so beautiful. One of my most favorite season of the spring. As well as autumn, of course.
Actually, you can also take your mat, take some food, and it's, they allow you uh -huh. to do picnic with your family. Okay, as long as you yes. Uh huh. Make some kimbap. Take it with you. Yeah. Okay, that's the stadium, and you have this beautiful view from the stadium. So this has never been talked about online uh, during the spring, the azaleas, but it's gorgeous. It's also a place you must put on your bucket list in, here in Wang Misan Mountain. The color explosions of the azaleas is such gorgeous. There's so many Koreans flocking in here. You know, they do picnicking and there's so many people right now. It's especially it's weekend and Sunday. So again, how do we pronounce Azalea, baby? Am I right? Azalea. Azalea. Uh, yeah, finally. <laughs> Perfect. From my professor. <laughs> I don't know how many times I pronounce Azalea, but I'm st I all I'm always Azalea. I always say Azalea. <laughs> There's so many viewpoints and platforms that you could you know take photos and videos. This is the upper view. That one is on mountain, it's near at Mochun Stadium. It's just a 10 minute walk from the station going to Wong Sun Mountain. Lucky travelers are actually exploring the Azalea Fair Flower Festival. There is a must, re must recommend a uh, seafood place. You're going to eat raw food, raw fishes. So uh, right now we're smelling like raw fishes around here. It's a must try here in Seafood. What's that, King Crab? Must try here in uh, South Korea, raw fishes, seafood. Is that pink crab? Yeah, that's Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, oh, so they will cook it? Yeah. Okay, it's like a, a seaside in Philippines. Okay, we have shows. Oh, my God. Oh, fishy, fishy. Oh, no. So we will try all the raw fish. So they will cook the crab, right? They cook everything. Okay. All the, all the raw fish will come like that. Okay. Right. That. Most of the stuff is raw. Okay, and except crab, right? The crab. So we will have to pay here, and then we have to pay another 8k upstairs. This is where we're going to eat while they're preparing for our fish. Behind us, the sea side view with this marites bird <laughs> there waiting for the food the seagulls and these are fishermen okay so they yeah. represent they get a price and then they sell they sell it to you they also have places like this for butchers like where you can get the real the best quality hamu beef okay and you know they do the same and then you go to a single place and they cook it Okay. In the Philippines, we have seasides. Yeah, this is a seaside style of Philippines. So, two travelers, Chinese edition, Bang edition. <laughs> he doesn't like fish. He doesn't like fish. He will try it. Mukbang edition. <laughs> What's that? Oh, live? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. Wow.